So, um, hi, I'm sitting here with uh, Dana Delaney, who played Amish Martha in Original Bill in the first Route 30 movie. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> How long has it been since we uh, shot this movie? Uh, eight years? Oh, my God. It's been eight years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm old now. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we're all old. Um, when you fir- I was hoping you would tell um, the story about... Um, um, your connection to the Putch family. Oh, for, yes. For the for this for the people who don't know that Dana had a, a, a interaction with uh, Bill Putch, my father, and his one of his productions. And, yeah. Uh, it, you were it, this was way before I knew you. Do you yeah. remember? I do remember. It was um, in New York, and I was a young actor. I think I was all of twenty-two, maybe. I just arrived, and I auditioned for your dad, Bill. And it was for a production of um, George Kelly play, and I can't remember the name of it. The Show Off. The Show Off, yes, mm-hmm. The Show Off. And I auditioned for him. I didn't get the job, but what I did get was a note from your dad sent to my agent, I think, that I got, saying that I was a good actor and, and that I would have success and to keep going. <laughs> and when you're 22 years old, that means a lot. That's, that's those kind of things that you take and you go, oh, okay, maybe I'm not crazy. You know, maybe I, I, there is something in me acting and having a career doing that. So it really, I, that note helped me for a long time. That's nice. And so then when I finally met you on um, Patron Saint of Liars, we played, uh, you played my first husband. Mm-hmm. And we worked together and I realized the connection there. And then uh, we worked on a movie on um, uh, well, A Time to Remember with mm-hmm. Doris Roberts that you really pretty much rewrote and directed. And that was great. And then we got to do the Route 30. That's so great. Um, well, well, you played an Amish woman mm-hmm. in this film, as we all know. And um, had you ever played an Amish person before? <laughs> no, I don't think I've even met an Amish person. And what? <laughs> What was your first thought about that? Uh, well, I was excited because I wouldn't have to wear makeup. <laughs> that was <Exactly>. good. <laughs> and I could be fat as I wanted to because those dresses are really loose. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that was fun. Comfortable. Very comfortable. Flat shoes. And I was working on Desperate Housewives at the time, so it was a nice contrast. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, I just love the character that you wrote because... <sighs> Pausing. Uh, but what I love most about Amish Martha was the, the character that you wrote in the script because she was such a contrast. Say that again. I love a noisy house. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I love most about Amish Martha was what you wrote about her because she was a fun character to play because she... I love that she had this kind of sadness and happiness at the same time that she was, she knew she was stuck, that she had made her decision to stay within the community, you know, for many reasons, but she also was still a rebel underneath it all and wanted a different life and, do you care? It's the garbage trucks. Okay. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's garbage Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so she, you know, her little thrill of smoking and drinking beer and, and music, dancing, I mean, people still talk to me about the dancing scene. They think it's just so funny. And swearing. Yeah. Swearing. (laughs) It's, you know, um, you may not know this, but it is the... People talk most about that story. They like it the most for Mm. some reason. There's something about it universally. Well, this, you know, she's so hopeful. The scene where she finally gets to see a play. Mm -hmm. And that's something that all of us take such for granted, Mm -hmm. you know, that we get to go to the theater or go to the movies. And that sense of innocence is just, I thought, really beautiful that you you thought of with that, you know. Thanks. You made it beautiful. Um, Now, that movie was very not like we're normally used to making Right? Yes, yes, very it was, different. It was a no-frills movie. But it was fun. Did that frighten you at all? Um, the only thing was vanity. My vanity frightened me, but that's just ego. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get past that, mm-hmm. you know, what was I going to look like? Uh, because we were 
doing our own hair and makeup and lighting and all you that look great. stuff. I look fantastic. I know you don't watch them, but no, I know you No, I thought you Keith did a great good. job. Yeah. 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 Um, no, I, I went to the screening with you, so I, I watched it once. That's right. Um, but also, I mean, the way you shoot is just so great as an actor because it's fast. You don't overthink it. You trust your instincts. Um, and then you're done early enough that we all get to go out drinking at the end of the day. This is amazing. It's the perfect movie. Why would movie. you want to make a movie any other way? I know, and we all get to hang out together, and it was... Is it at yins and... Yings and wings? Yings and wings. I still remember that. The yings and the wings. I know what the wings are, but what are the yings? Yingling beer. Oh, yings was the Yingling beer. Yingling lager, yeah. Yes, we had yings and wings at the end of each day. It was That's great. fantastic. Did we have peel and eat shrimp, too? We had peel and eat shrimp, yeah. That's three of the yes, finest. We and we got to go to Mr. Ed's. Of course. You know, I, Mr. Ed is what I remember most about the movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boy, wait till you see... Uh, yeah, he's, he's all through these movies. He, he said to say hi, by the good. way. Good. Did, did he rebuild the store? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. You'll see it in part three. All right, because that was a fantasy, that store. Yeah, the, the new one's gorgeous. What do you see the new one? All right. Um, so, that, so that was less professional, more fun, I would say. More fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it was kind of professional. I think it's totally professional. Yeah. Everybody knew what they were doing. Yeah. Nobody was messing around. Do you remember that farm, Martha Hyatt's farm we yes. shot at? Yeah, That Beautiful. was neat, right? Well, the whole country in Chambersburg is just gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. And remember the, you'd look at the colors on the hill. I, I, I still can't get over the colors. Yes, right, because fall was just happening. Yeah, it was October. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it just, you know, living in L.A. and New York, you don't have that. It was nice to go outside and shoot. Had you ever um, heard of Totem Pole Playhouse? I had heard about Totem Pole because I'd watched your documentary. Mm. Uh, about your dad, which was called... This is My Father. Yeah, This is My Father, which was beautiful. And I did know Totem Pole because I remember when people would audition to go to Totem Pole for, to do summer stock. Mm-hmm. So yes, I did know about it. Was And when you first, uh, we put you in there for those scenes, what... Did it seem smaller than you thought it was going to be? or No, it seemed exactly what I thought because I also got my equity card doing summer stock in Michigan in a barn. Nice. And I, I just it brought back so many memories because, you know, you had all the photographs on the walls of the plays over the years and yeah. you in them as a young lad and your sister and mm-hmm. your dad and then Carl, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and all of them. Yeah, and Carl uh, and Will uh, just... Uh, Stepped down a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. I think God, five years ago, and uh, we're two artistic directors in now. Later, and are you part of it now? I've directed there twice. Yeah, which was really fun, and uh, I've been back. And as you know, the theater is always provided for the movies. Yeah, uh, they they give us housing and they let us shoot there. And you know, we did a bunch of green screen days there. And whenever we have a car scene, we shoot it on the stage in the theater. It's great. It's, it's just well, yeah. Robert Picardo. Per- Picardo. Picardo told me he had a great time doing the Sunshine Boys with yep. Lee, right? Yep. yep. With Lee Wilkoff there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said he had a wonderful time. Yeah, you know, as an fun. actor, you just it just brings you back to the innocence again of what it's like to have all your dreams ahead of you and let's just put on a show. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing like it. There really isn't. No, it's great. It's still going too. Um, oh, here's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, are you aware and proud of the fact that the only Route 30 movie ever to make it to the Pirates Bay BitTorrent site was yours? <laughs> Is that where people illegally download movies? Mm-hmm. They're probably hoping to see me naked. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Disappointment there. <laughs> yeah. No. I yeah. hope they watch the movie anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's the only one. That's very funny. Uh, <laughs> And terrible that they're doing that. Oh, it's Just horrible. terrible. Well, now, who cares now? <laughs> Pirate Bay, whatever. Um, what else? Um, what else? I got nothing. Nothing? I was going to just say that you've been a great part of the trilogy, even though it was part one. It's still the linchpin of the, of the three. Well, I look forward to seeing... I love part two. I can't wait to see part three. I still... My other memory that I have is, is Keith, the DP. Did he mm-hmm. do all three? Yeah. Yeah. When he invented the um, the thing on the ironing board, 
Oh, he, the dolly? He, he put the PVC sprinkler pipe on an ironing board and used it as a dolly. As a dolly. I mean, that was innovation. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw that thing coming yeah. towards me, I thought, yeah. wow, <laughs> that's a MacGyver right there. Oh, uh, big MacGyver, that one. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've really gotten better over the three movies. <laughs> we actually are using real equipment now towards the end. But we still have to hump it ourselves. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. And I also like singing the song. At the end. Yeah. That everybody sang. That yeah. was great. The Cloven Hoof Demon song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were good at that. Delo is not. It was so much fun. Really, I had a great time. That's All the right. way movies should be. Yeah. Well, Dana, thank you. Thank you, John Putch. Thank you, Dana Delaney. See you soon. <laughs>